Hi there, I'm John Shields. Welcome to another episode of Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table. Uh, today is episode three of season two. Just in case you have a scorecard and you're trying to figure out what's going on, that's what it is. And tonight, it is a love story for all. That's right, it's February. And it's the month of love. And tonight, we're taking a look at and beyond Valentine's Day. You know, every February, everybody thinks it's just February 14th. Well, a number of years ago, uh, this thing started to become trendy called Galentine's Day. And they were doing it sort of the day before Valentine's. And the idea is, you know, there's all kinds of different levels of love. Uh, some are romantic and some are just like deep bonds and deep friendships. Uh, in Ireland, they, they call it Anokara, uh, which is kind of a soul, a soul friend. Uh, it's this, these people that you just have that special connection with. So it's a great idea to be able to celebrate all of those things uh, in, in February. Um, and one of those very special friends that I connected with immediately, I met over 20 years ago, um, Baltimore born, world-renowned artist, Joyce J. Scott. And as you'll soon see, Joyce, she radiates joy. She totally does. And she always inspires hope. But she is grounded in the real. So um, as we do that, we're going to have Joyce here with us, and we're going to explore all kinds of foods for February. Obviously, everybody talks about the aspect of aphrodisiac food, the things that kind of get you going, get the motor running. Uh, but we're also going to talk a little bit more about the, the history, the tradition of Valentine's Day and Palentine's Day. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get this love fest started. And uh, we have our very own executive sous chef, De Amor, uh, also known as CEO, Harford County Public Library, Mary Hassler. Mary! Hey, hello, you too. Awesome to be here. How are you doing? I am doing great. great. And I'm sorry, aphrodisiacs. Aphrodisiac. Oysters. Oysters. Chocolate. Joyce. All those things. And, oh, and, and just with one disclaimer, this will be a little bit more of an adult show tonight. So I'm just giving you a head, head of warning ahead of time. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, we're always very adult oh, oh, here. That is so true. We, we always have a whole lot of a whole lot of things going on. So anyway, I just thought that, you know, it would be really nice to have Joyce with us. She has such an amazing perspective on life, um, on art. And I thought when, when I talked to Joyce about this originally, we were talking about this intersection of love and art and food and community. And, and just kind of everybody in embracing all these things. But when you think about a nice meal or you're eating something or something that your grandma made or your mom or somebody that you love or that you make for someone, it, it really does fill your heart up and it's, it's good for your soul. Yeah, it so, really is. Yeah. And, you know, and many people go out to dinner uh, to celebrate the Valentines, the <laughs> Galentines. Sometimes they'll have a, a romantic dinner at two. Uh, you know, just two people at home. And somebody was just telling me uh, today that um, they were trying to, to kind of woo their, their intended. And they had mm -hmm. them come over and they thought there was going to be this formal dinner. Just had a picnic <gasps> all Fine. in the in the um, in the house, and again, it's just this idea of getting together and celebrating and having a great time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as I said, mm -hmm. we're lucky enough to have Joyce with yeah. us tonight. So let's take just a little look at some of Joyce's work. Joyce J. Scott self-described Baltimore babe and Sandtown girl, is a distinguished MacArthur Fellow and Smithsonian visionary artist. I first met and fell in love with Joyce in 2000 when her magnificent exhibit, Kicking It With The Old Masters, opened at the Baltimore Museum of Art. Much of Joyce's art is figurative sculpture and jewelry, working extensively with glass beads. 
printmaker, weaver, educator, performance artist, Joyce is renowned for her social commentary on issues such as racism, classism, sexism, violence, and cultural stereotypes, as well as themes of spiritual healing. Her works at times can be disturbing, soothing, and exhilarating, sometimes simultaneously, but ultimately the motivation is always of hope and healing. Joyce J. Scott is a national treasure, and Baltimore, the Chesapeake region, and the nation are all the richer for her artistry. So as you can see, Joyce is one amazing oh artist. Beautiful. So, so talented. Beautiful. And you know, you have all kinds of different things of what you do and who you are. Uh, well, Joyce not only is an artist, she's also a performance artist, as you will soon see. So, ladies and gentlemen, lovers all over the Chesapeake area, I would like to present to you my dear friend, Joyce J. Scott. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to our little kitchen. Yes, Day this is a little kitchen. Day this or more. <laughs> well, it's it. cozy, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. sort of. Uh -huh, we'll we'll uh -huh. get to know each other All really well before the end of the show. My belly's in the sauce. I'm moving that. <laughs> <laughs> It's just called our shelf that we yeah. all, if we're endowed, we get it. Yeah, yeah where's your shelf? Yeah. Where, where, it, shelf. it's down here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where my shelf is. So, I, I, you know, I wanted to just interject, there's a word for you from the library, <laughs> that this is not only February, so this is also Black History Month. Mm -hmm. And I at first thought that it was an aphrodisiac thing because it was a black person. Afro then I looked at the spelling <laughs> and I realized I was wrong. <laughs> wow, okay. Boy, would I like a drink right about now. <laughs> that sounds really wonderful, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have a grand time. I think so. So anyway, when we were talking about this whole concept, and you and I talked a little bit about it, of, of love. Yeah, this is art. conceptual art, yes. It is conceptual yeah. art. And mm -hmm. um, and you're 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 a Baltimore gal too, right? <laughs> That's right. We're all from Baltimore. Absolutely, Baltimore, yeah. Baltimore, Baltimore, yeah, well, Baltimore. Yes, we are. Baltimore, so the Baltimore. accent's going to drive you all crazy tonight because we all three have it. Mm -hmm. I don't have that accent. <laughs> oh, I, do. I was not allowed to have that oh, accent. No, no. no. Uh, I went to school. <laughs> oh. I'm not trying to start anything. Please forgive me. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> A librarian. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. But tell, you can me, say tell me anything. about tell me about your hit with the library. Yeah. Me rub the brown off. Well, I <laughs> tell you that my library at North and Pennsylvania Avenue was built in the fifties when I was in elementary school. So one of our grand forays was to walk to the library. It was completely new and have a real wonderful time just being involved in layers and layers and levels and steps and everything of books. Yeah. Uh -huh. My parents did not have an academic education and they were blessed to have me because I love books and I love going to school. So libraries are like special places for me, special homes, and especially for African Americans because one of the first things we did when we became free was build a church with a school in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was... Uh, Libraries have always been wonderful. Yeah. And then when you can mix libraries with cooking, mm -hmm. Johnny Shields at Gertrude's, Hartford County, which I seldom go to, <laughs> but now that I know but where we I will, <laughs> it's a whole thing. And you know what's really interesting about libraries and books and food? Think of the words we describe. We devour books. We consume books. Okay. That, and that I mean... Makes you want to eat. Makes you want to eat. It, it makes me definitely hungry. does because <laughs> eating paper is not eating, one of the things I eating really do. Eating and <laughs> Yeah. No, we'll leave that to the puppy. In, in, in a pinch. In a pinch. <laughs> Who's pinching who? That's what Maybe I my puppy will eat the paper. whole other TV show. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, okay. So okay. So okay. tonight, since we're in that kind of theme of February and the romance and mm. those mm -hmm. kinds of things, we're talking a little bit about aphrodisiac food. So Joyce and I actually talked this over and we came up with our sexy salad. Yes. Yes, because we actually have a list of some some food items mm -hmm. that have purported aphrodisiac qualities. Oh my okay. goodness. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So we have some of those uh, right here live with us on our own show. 
Uh, so one of those, who would have ever thought, I had no idea, but arugula is an aphrodisiac. It sounds dirty, arugula. Just cause Wouldn't it, it be, don't you think? <laughs> well, it comes in the dirt. We're, Forgot. Sounds yeah. earthy. And then earthy. Apples. Yeah, that's the word I meant. Earthy. It sounds earthy. earthy. <laughs> apples are an aphrodisiac food. Pine nuts. Again, I didn't know about the pine nuts. And then basil. Now, basil goes way back basil. to like the uh, Greek and Roman times. And supposedly, the aroma of the basil. It sounds like a guy dated. <laughs> we get, we get, we get the with basil. Oh, Somebody like basil, that. basil, yeah. Okay. And you know what the, the the young bucks would do is they would put the basil behind their ear, and then as they would go around the women, they would say, "Oh my God!" And they would swoon. Oh wow! So yeah, so basil. So it must have been some kind of basil back then. It was some basil. Well, okay. the then, guys really smelled that. Uh, yeah, well, it must have been. I think it wasn't so good. I think it was more the basil behind that ear. And then we have pomegranate <laughs> seeds. These oh. are the whole thing right here. Now, I remember when in high school, I had to do a report on Cleopatra, and it was kind of a show-and-tell thing, and so I brought pomegranates Ooh. because supposedly she loved those, and they're okay. part of the aphrodisiac. Did thing. you know that they say that the tree with Adam and Eve yeah. was originally not an apple, but it was a pomegranate? Really? Yeah. Ooh. Well, you can understand how the mm. fall happened. Then. Exactly. Exactly. And then... We have some uh, goat cheese. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. Yep, from Charlottetown Farm. And cheese, again, is another mm -hmm. ingredient. And then, one that I wasn't aware of, salmon. No, salmon's oh, the whole salmon's thing. salmon's definitely. It's a big thing. Yeah. So, ne Neapol Smokery mm -hmm. is in They're Bel the best. Belvedere Square. And smoked salmon is mm -hmm. just the... It's just, just the ticket. So, we got some of that. And I got the kind that Barbara Lichtenstein yes. down there yeah. does, and she does it with um, herbs de Provence. Oh, nice. It makes it sound really fancy. Well, it, it makes it kind of French-like, but she's a Deutsche girl. She's a Deutsche girl. So it's Frau Lichtenstein und... Und the uh, herbs de France. Und the herbs de France. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That looks great. That looks Look at great. That. Yeah, she uses this That's kind beautiful. of smoking technique that they did up in the islands north of Germany. Yeah, those yeah. places. I mean, like those places yeah, we really. haven't been. Like but, but anyway, that's the technique the that she islands. remembers. The smoky islands. So to, to, to continue our smoking. Well, what's this? Yeah, what, you forgot about this. Oh, that, that are chives. Do oh, you like chives. the chives? The chives, chives are lovely, beautiful, too. Beautiful, yeah, they're, yes. they're very yes, yes, yes. act like all right, so then we're going to make a little aphrodisiac-like okay. vinaigrette. All right. Ah. Okay. So now we have some white wine vinegar, which, by the way, is not an aphrodisiac food. Wait, wine <laughs> or the vinegar Thank part? you very much. I just wanted to let you know that is okay. not a... Then we're going to take... This is kind of a traditional sort of classic okay. uh, vinaigrette, basic. So usually they'll put in a little bit of Dijon mustard. Dijon, it's the French people again. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. Know that, that they keep they keep popping up like that. Okay. And then we have the achalots. Mm -hmm. More French Chalots. people. Minced achalots. Du chalot. Oui. Du chalot. D'accord. Chalots, yes, the chalots. Yeah. And I then know. another <laughs> major uh -huh. aphrodisiac one is honey. Oh, and so I love we, honey. So that's what people call when they love you. They say, hey, hey honey. This is the aphrodisiac. Oh, hey, honey, honey, sweetie. There we go. Like, we like okay. that. There you go. Pass Take that, that one and over. that yeah, off. Yeah, you can Just like that one. Case. Okay. Thank and you very you're much. You're welcome. And so then what we do is you just whisk kind it. of whisk this all And together. yes, this is my famous whisker. This is a nice whisker. Why is that this famous? Joyce, would you like to do a little whisking while I do a little Why don't I whisk this right now? Whisk this. You do that a uh -huh. little bit at a time. Is that oil? This, this is extra virgin olive, olive oil. oil. Wrong and kitchen! Uh -huh. and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know we use the uh, Dimitri olive oil, which is almost local. Yeah, it, 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 virtually I, yes, local. Virtually local. Could have been virginly local. Virginly local. Virginly local. local. At the exactly. Market, you can get that. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Here we go. We just keep I'm just whisking away. She's whisking, whisking away. You're doing a good Actually, job. what she's doing is emulsifying. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Emulsifying. So when you emulsify, what do you do? You smash things until they're nothing or what? Well, you just keep whisking, whisking. Mm -hmm. It's like if you were pouring this into yeah. a blender. 
it gets a little bit of a consistency body, and that's what oh, sort yeah. of Oh, yeah. Aren't you also the, aerating it? Yes, we're aerating, too. This is called chemistry, and this is, a, this is a perfect mix of all the ingredients, and as the whisking is adding air and bubbles and oxygen and a little bit of chemistry going on there. We got the whole thing. And the flavors. The flavors are amazing, too. I think we pour the whole thing in there? Well, it's one cup. Oh, one cup. So we got okay. one cup. Now, this is way more than you would do for job, this Joyce. particular <laughs> salad, correct? Yes, why not? But then you can put it in your Frigidaire, <laughs> and then you have it. Spell that. <laughs> R-I. Uh, Frigidaire. Okay. So, all so right. So can I stop whisking now? Oh, oh no! Uh, I, can't, I can't have that. I gotta There's put a salt. little bit of salt. We always need salt. But he had it upside down, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Yes, I can't say a word. Though. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then okay. I put a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper See, in that, there. That's a whole integration thing again. Exactly, yeah, 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 all right. of it in a bowl. In, in a, bowl. a bowl. In a bowl. In a bowl. And there you go. Voila! That's it. We now have Joyce. Yay! Has just Joyce. made a Good honey job. basil Voila. vinaigrette. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So now. So now I aerated that. You got it all aerated. You mulsed it. I like mulsed, the word. You mulsed it and aerated it. I emulsorated it. it. You did. So what okay. we're going to do is uh -huh. we'll dress the salad. Dress the okay. salad. We have like, what do you mean? Would you like a plate? And buttons and shoes Would you like a plate? Yeah, we can pull that up. Okay, put some a... of those out there. Okay. So generally what I do when uh -huh. we're doing this, I just put a little tiny bit on because you can always add more yeah, but true. you can't take so it out you know true. what i mean and how many times we've been the place Sounds and then like we another get day that was on. we get these <laughs> soggy salads <laughs> and we say oh my god it's too much no but look you but do you exactly can... what you do that's a perfect amount <laughs> and i mean you can see it just lightly coated yes yeah, it and... glistens on the on the leaves yeah. 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 you don't you don't want a pile of uh -huh. water or, or oil on the bottom of the bowl it's just not so good so okay. essentially this is kind of, kind of like a mix and match thing we uh -huh. have here. So we'll put a little bit of this there. Really? We have, I think we have two more plates oh, there. Oh, yes, we do. Because I don't want, I don't want to leave anybody out. We okay. don't have any food. Let's do that one. We can't have that for our sexy salad. Sexy salad. Sexy salad, sexy Save salad. That. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So this is like one of these things. I guess you could theoretically, I'll give this to, to you guys. Okay. Really just decorate with some of these oh. different things with it. And while you do that, I will cut some of the salmon and we'll put some of the salmon Why on top. Why are the sliced apples in water? Because what we sliced them right before we started and you don't want to leave them sitting because they'll turn brown oh. quickly. Okay. And do you put, I always put a little What's drop of lemon. Yes, there's, there's, okay. a little, <laughs> there's a little bit of... All right. Just a little bit of lemon in there. Just to keep everything fresh. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Fresh. Right. You got it? You with me? Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, cool. So we're supposed to decorate, right? Yep, it's all, all up right, to you. We can share the hand towel. Okay. okay, there you go. It's all um, up to you. Here, I'll give you a Oh, we have spoons. Okay, awesome. I'll put a little spoon in there, <laughs> a little spoon in there. I had visions of my, my fingers coming out right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, I didn't uh -huh. have that. I'm like, okay. What, uh, <laughs> do you want something for us to do this with? Yeah, I like that the hand is good. Okay, okay. Sure. The hand, okay. it's all natural. That's, yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to try to be fancy. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Oh, this I'll is fun. This inside or there. Oh, look, you do like that. That's a little design. Look at that. I think that needs help. Well, I, that needs help. That did not work. Oh, wait a minute. I need another slice in the middle. Uh huh. Go. There you go. Oh, little flower. Excuse we'll do a little. Do oh, we have to do the pomegranates, I'm right? I'm going to give you that now. Oh, my God. Okay, John, share uh, the salmon. I'm going to share the salmon. <laughs> I love salmon. Salmon, I think, is my favorite. I love it. It's just amazing. Mm hmm. So what are we supposed to do with my boyfriend? Just lay it in? Lay it in. Yeah, let me see. Let me, let me, let me, let me get, well, actually, he, your do boy, I, your boyfriend. Do it just oh, great. Do it. Bring like, back such memories. Doesn't it? Uh, it's like yeah. the olden days. Yeah. Not huh? olden days. That's like 1870. Like, <laughs> no. It's like a no, hippie no. day. I think I'd be 1960. I think I'd be 1960. cowboys and 1962, cowboys. something like that, that okay. right? I'm just laying them on. Go okay. ahead. You go. Ooh, I love you basil. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. he, he's now chopping basil. Live. This, this is also what John, I did to my ex-boyfriend. This smells so good. 
<laughs> is this from your garden at Gertrude's? No. This smells really good. No, you I, have a garden at Gertrude's? We do. Oh, did I out, that away? out back. Do you force your employees to go out and clean your vegetables? Absolutely. Isn't that against like rules? It, and aren't you it, like, being sued it, right it, now? It is. It is. But so you know, I always, way. I'm just I always, break it off and stick it in on top of my I salad. always uh, persevere so with any of this. Come on, we put some. You put some on too. Look at that. Look at that. I love basil. Mm -mm -mm. There and we you go. Know, this is really easy to grow at home too. And when summer's coming, and we know summer's coming, this is really easy yeah, to grow it at is. home. It's like, and it great. You can do it in little pots. Mary, if you could give it's, us some of those lovely forks that are oh, right lovely there. Lovely forks. Because the thing I really, the the thing that I really want you to taste is this salmon. Because this salmon right, is gonna like taste this. unbelievable. I'm going to do without the cheese. I can't do that. But you guys, how about some cheese for you, young man? Oh, right. I'm making my oh, dish, my. and I'm going to try my salmon. Am I being okay. rude? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. People don't mind if you don't they eat don't okay, we, we, I think we're French somewhere in our family, on my mom's side, <laughs> maybe. Sure, why not? Why not? Mmm. Move that. Oh, I forgot all about that. You know what I like about salmon? I always feel like my brain is really happy after I eat it. It's like my brain's smiling. Am I reading too much into salmon? I, I don't okay. want to start oh, anything, reading but into too much of salmon. That is, uh -huh. yes, okay. It's too much. <laughs> it's a piece of really mm. nice smoked fish, is what it is. I don't know about your brain. You it's it's delightful. Essentially, right. that is what it is. All right, I'm going to hand it. It's delicious. It's very okay. fresh and wonderful, and it took mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Of course, well, you had good. to run off to buy German okay. stuff, but it's if, wonderful. Yeah, but if I didn't have to do that, it would have been even easier. Right. But it was worth nice going bowl. to buy no, that German it's stuff. Isn't that good? Oh my gosh, it really it's good. wonderful, John. So that was it. That was so, fun. okay, so let's go back to the concept of the sexy salad. So, let's say that you're going to throw this dinner party mm -hmm. and you just want to make an, a simple dinner. Right. So, you can make this salad, rich. you can put any kind of thing there on it, and a nice piece of that salmon right in the All center. Right. That's a perfect yeah. dinner. I you love it. With a baguette. And then a little dessert. Thank you. Thank you. Some uh, champagne. Mm. We love Did it. Did someone say champagne? Oui, d'accord. Does that mean champagne? Yeah, yeah. It, it means like classy champagne. And where is that champagne? <laughs> We're still trying to find it. Is there a glass or it's something coming. somewhere for a person who's young and gifted and Need some libation right about Libations. Yes. I like all these words we're using tonight. I'm trying to do Emotion. my librarian thing. You're doing a great job. <laughs> I, was, I was working hard. <laughs> You're doing a really great job on that. All you right. guys Emotion. can't see all the tech guys are behind me giving me the stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are not. They're all like, come on, Joe. Stop not. it. <laughs> I don't trust them anyway. <laughs> oh, I think they work for, you know, they okay. work for different companies. Mm -hmm. It's a whole thing I could we're, tell you about not, these we're guys. Never Sure. <laughs> Mom, can can I right. have a glass of wine? Why well, am I need Absolutely. Well, Joe, I don't care if you're not drinking. Fish. I desire. Thank there you go, go Missy. Okay. It's what I should be having. There we go. There you okay. go. Look at that. Cheers. It's a really Cheers. big knife. Cheers. Why is there a big Cheers. knife there? That's well, John's you know. knife. I don't touch it. Just saying. I do not go near that knife. I'm not going there. There are two oh knives. Oh my gosh, there's two big knives. Two big knives. knives. Here we go. Two okay. big knives. What's the next thing? Mr. All right, Brown? ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we have right coming out here. Oh my gosh! Momentarily, here we'll we put go, one sir. of this right oh, here. Oysters. Mm, 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 mm. But oh my gosh! Where's my big platter? Here's there? your look. I have platter. to tell you, the very first show I did with John, we did oysters. Didn't we? Fried did oysters. You? We did. Honestly, okay. wasn't it my mother's recipe of fried oysters? Yes, it was. Oh, fried it was oysters. wonderful. It was what oh. we called our fry baby episode. It fry was the baby fry baby. baby. Was I was the baby, and I got okay. fried because I was drinking then too. But and we don't have these to are really pretty stuff. amazing. We'll Are you eat. going to open these, John? We're uh, going to eat. Just I, eat them. Yeah, I but, think so. Um, oh, let me yeah, see. Did yeah. you have the minuet sauce? Minuet sauce. New minuet. That's pretty. That sounds Again, very pretty. Again, a little That's bit. That's also a dance, you know. A little bit the minuet. A little bit of uh, more French. I think this is the minuet. There we go. Oh, it's pink it's and it's very got pink with stuff little things in it. in it. Yeah. So okay. onion. Most of us from around the Chesapeake, often when we <laughs> eat the oysters, um, we put cocktail sauce on it mm -hmm. or just a little bit of lemon. But in France, and especially since we're going on that French love thing mm -hmm. today, yes. um, minuet sauce is really a red wine vinegar okay. 
Okay. And it has shallots in it. And then you generally, right at the end, you put a little bit of black pepper. A bit. Okay. Like so. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to put just a whisper. We will call this one whisper. 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 I can that. just barely hear it, John. Can you hear it <laughs> like so? And ladies, I'm going to put this over to here okay. for you. And I think there's some little forks all the way the back there. Oh, and if forks. you guys would like to have an oyster. Okay. And Are you not having an oyster, John? What no, do you think? You're right. going to jump people or something? Yeah, you got to watch. It's okay. February. You know, i got to be careful. <laughs> well, speaking about February, you know that the oyster mm. industry on the Eastern Shore was one that employed many, many African Americans as shelters. Yes. So for uh, African Americans, it was a true industry and a real money maker for a long time. It mm. was. It nice. was. And many of those That's towns over there <laughs> were actually built on oyster cool. shells. Yes. Yes. They yes. They were. They were. Yes. So. You know, all over the world, when, when they're thinking about February, when they're thinking about Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. oysters are probably the number one um, uh, I don't, yes, that they would think. Thing. Uh, the reason being, theoretically, is they're very high in zinc, mm -hmm. and that is supposed to help the libido. Um, and so, mm. as far as sexy areas That's in awesome. the world, <laughs> we are in ground zero here on the Chesapeake, because... The Chesapeake Bay is like this giant protein factory. Mm -hmm. It's a big libido factory. A big, big libido. libido factory. Just a pregnant bunch of waters. There used to oh be gosh. oyster reefs that would come up outside of the, you know, five, mm -hmm. six, eight feet above the water line. Mm -hmm. um, and then the things kind of went <laughs> down downhill a little bit. Yeah, they bit. did. They did go downhill a little bit. But the great news, and especially here in Maryland and some in Virginia, is the... Uh, oyster farming yeah. that's going on and it's really really exciting so we still have uh, a lot of people who harvest the the wild oysters yes mm -hmm. but they're all over the bay so many have sprung up of the um you know the, the these new oyster farms well some people think that oyster farms will be just like a bland oyster but as long as it's in the chesapeake bay a, exactly and taking all mm -hmm. the nutrients from the bay then you still got a very similar taste. Mm -hmm. You do. I mean, that's that's where oysters get their flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and they're also, like, so important to the, um, the ecosystem of the bay. Exactly. In the old days, they said that uh, it, within three days, all the oysters that were in the bay could completely filter the Chesapeake wow. Bay. Now that cannot happen any longer. No. <clears throat> but I've been to many oyster farms and that are in small tributaries. And after they've been there for a number of years, that whole body of water is comes mm. alive. It's just unbelievable. Yes. Yes. So they're not only good to eat, they're not only good for your libido, but they really, um, you know, ha Healthy have world. such a, an important part to play in the cuisine um, of the Chesapeake Bay. Because it's really hard to filter a plastic bag. It is. Yeah. It's not easy. No. So let me let me see this thing. Where's our shucked oyster uh, gallon of shucked oyster things? Here, here. Oh, here I'll come. But Joyce was talking about the mm -hmm. shucking of the oysters. So these are from Merlin. And Merlin. Um, that's so spelled M E U U Y R. <laughs> so. For those of you who actually want to cook something with shucked oysters, like when Joyce and I did that mm -hmm. show and, and we used her recipes for fried oysters, mm -hmm. we used the shucked oysters. So let's okay. let's get some of our things up here. And They look just a little strange when you see them when they're not in the shell and they're floating around in oyster juice. Mm -hmm. And you say, I think this is a bit more natural beautiful. than I'd like to get. But just take a couple of seconds. It's... It's, It'll put you right there. It gets mm -hmm. you right back. Get you right back where you're supposed to be. Well, I won't go that far, but so close. <laughs> so close. So close. All these little dishes and Aren't things coming cute? out. Aren't they cute? I'm so happy I don't have to wash anything. Uh, I know. I know. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to make this. It's, it's a very traditional, primarily Eastern Shore oh. Uh, recipe called mm. the Maryland Oyster Pudding. Okay. And if you look at most of the recipes from around the Chesapeake and you look at all, all the old recipes, they're really not very complicated. No. no. And, and most people always say, you know, uh, when they've seen some of my earlier books, they say, oh my God, I love doing things from here. I already have everything in my cupboard exactly. that I need to make it. 
So you see how this is so, so terribly easy. Now we should have a bowl here. We do. Good, we good. Two. That'll be helpful. Okay. I think that's even necessary. It's probably think it helpful might be. and necessary. <laughs> but as you see what happens right here, it is like <laughs> too darn kind of easy. Okay. So here we have fresh bread. Mm -hmm. and, and this isn't any of that healthy stuff, like double, triple, whole wheat, no. or that guy on TV playing the no. guitar with the bread. No. no. This is just like, this, this is, is like white bread. bread. This is like white, white bread. bread. So what you do is mm -hmm. you... For Black History Month. I'm take, just saying. <laughs> you're I don't, just saying. Excuse me. <laughs> We're taking the bread, and do we have some butter over there? We do. Butter? Room temperature, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, room temperature butter. More really soft butter. I nice soft butter like that. Like butter. Like butter. Like butter. Like butter. butter. That's all we want. Like butter. All right. Okay, we don't say butter in Baltimore. We no, do but not. Yeah, we, we do. We, we do. Us <laughs> theater people. <laughs> <laughs> Move the tub of oysters to where? To the left. To, to the left. Toward it, John. John, don't Thank you need those oysters? I love them oysters. I'm going to move these like maybe there. Yeah, move that so that everyone can see me buttering the lovely bread. Ah, okay. You don't know what just happened. He held up a <laughs> sign and <laughs> said, our, our stupid, has a, has a move the <laughs> tub of oysters. <laughs> stupid people is what he wrote. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, we got it. Thank you, director. And it, and it was no problem. <laughs> and he spelled stupid wrong, too. It's like he needs like, to go to a library. <laughs> That's <laughs> all I'm <laughs> saying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So you buttered the bread and now you're cutting it into <laughs> into like these squares here that you have right there. Butter, but these don't have butter on them, do they? These are these they are better, naked. They better have otherwise. Which is back otherwise to the we're going to otherwise of, we're going to fire the prep cook. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. See? So John's using the really big knife to cut the bread. Cut did the you bread. butter it first? I did. I buttered it because <laughs> I thought if we put it into little squares and then I had to butter it, I It'd thought be terrible. that would, that would take a very long time. That would take you a long time. You lose a finger and stuff. You would lose a couple uh -huh. fingers at least with that. Uh -huh. And uh, you can use like stale bread or day old bread or yeah, two okay. day old bread. Like a bad date. Mm, like a bad picture. date. Because you'll find a lot of the recipes, the old Chesapeake recipes, they work in bread that had gone stale yes. just you know so you used everything okay well another thing about this and about the the homemaking kind of recipes is that these are people who don't have a lot of money who are right. recycling and reusing things so there yes. was no such thing as bad bread you'd you know make it into a soup or a crouton or you'd Put it in something like this. Exactly. Or bread pudding. Or bread, bread pudding. pudding. Mm. Bread pudding. Mm. Mm. All right. Dad, are we doing a bread pudding? Why not? Well, we actually are. It's a we're bread pudding. Oyster but bread with pudding. oysters. Exactly. We are. And how okay. do you say that on the east? Oyster. 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 So we got the oysters here, the yeah. shucked oysters. This They're is about, about a pint of okay. shucked oysters. And um, the one thing that you notice in there is we got that luscious oyster liquor. Yes. That you don't want to lose. I've seen people that they're working with the shucked oysters and they try to strain the liquor. No. Why? We put you in the jail. Yeah. <laughs> Up my way, they put you in jail for that. Not in my neighborhood. Where? We go to jail for very different things. <laughs> very different. <laughs> not for that. Not for the oyster liquid. Okay. All right. So we're going to put our oysters. So you're just putting them on top? On top of that. You, a layer of oysters. A yes. layer. A That's lovely, a lovely on layer. On the layer of buttered bread croutons. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It probably is something like well, that, something but we don't like know that. anything about so that. So do we have any, um, yes. might we have an egg? If yes, someone would, right here in front of you. If one of my prep cooks would like to help me, my sous chef. Do you want it whiskerated or something? No, just in there. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll put it in. You I'm not allowed to break the eggs. No. I have a bad reputation. You can really? do the beating. Okay. Do you need one or two? Okay. Two will be oh, May I break this one? Yeah, Absolutely. Yes, you may. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wait, see, like I dropped stuff in it. That's all right. And then I dropped the shell in. Stop <laughs> yelling. But you get a lot of min vitamin, My hands are vitamin, so clean. Vitamins protein. and minerals Just in there. Protein. Yeah, take that out. I'll take that out. Here. Come here. Come here. Be nice. Be nice. That's why I'm it. not allowed to break up the egg. You have to do very nice attempts. That's like 45 minutes of trying to get the Can egg out. 
See now, it, how about a spoon? Here, See, in real television, we'll we can edit this out, yeah, but can. we can't do that okay. right now. Do you there want me to try, John? I got it. Yay! Okay. Yay. Whoa! Yeah, go. We got it. All right. I can uh, whisk. Here, you whisk. You, you whisk. whisk. I mean, I'm not good at like breaking yeah. eggs, but I can whisk an egg. <laughs> okay, I should have some onions. Onions here. here. And some um, onions. There's some onions I got over there. Oh, you've got more of these. These guys. Shallow or something, right? And here are these, this thing. Okay, here. And can I, I over whisk my, so I can stop? And I'm gonna, no, you'll never over whisk. Oh. So there you put the I onions in there. There was, And then we should have some, some yellow and green bell peppers here. Yellow and green bell that. peppers. Maybe. I'm oh, no, just, no, actually, no, no, we're no, just, no, 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 we're just going to use some green onion. Those onion. Green, green onion. onion. So you don't want the red ones at all that already No, top. no, you could. You could. You know, this is where you can kind of do Christmas whatever you, could do red and green. you sort of feel like <laughs> you know? at that particular. Oh, but not now. Now but we're going now. for green. We're doing we're green. We're just going to do green because the nice people that gave us this recipe from over to Eastern Shore, they used oh. a green. They did. So Sounds we're going to use mm -hmm. a green We don't like want to like get in trouble with anybody from the Eastern but we're Shore. But no, we're going to in a minute. I'm going to show you how to get in trouble with them. Okay? Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't want to. I don't want to either. I don't want to get in trouble on the Eastern Shore. Well, then I'll do it. Yeah, you do it. They I love can, you down there, I Johnny. Can, I can do it. All right, so we're going to put our green onion in there. Okay. Lovely. Oh, that smells so good. It does. It's like fresh. It doesn't smell like that bad onion breath. It smells like really wonderful onions. It's like a delicious It doesn't onion. smell like basil, that guy I dated. <laughs> now we're going to put a little bit of the salt in there. A little bit of the pepper. pepper. Mm -hmm. And there, like pepper so. Salt. I think I'm over and then, whisking. How about a little Tabasco? A little Tabasco. Put a couple there things of Tabasco in there. Okay. Oh, a couple things. Tell me when. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. That's, that's there it. There we go. Okay. And how about a little bit of Old Bay? Old Bay. There Why you go. Why not? Why not? Well, no, this is a Maryland thing, so we need some of the we can Old do, Bay. We can do it, can't we? Yes, mm -hmm. we can. If we feel like it. Yes, John, that's no Old Bay. Put some Old Bay in there. Mm. Thank you. That's mm. it, John. No, no, now. He's lovely, done. lovely, no lovely. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. And? And then we are going to get our very lovely milk. Okay. Do we need the garlic at all? No, you could. It doesn't call for okay. garlic, but if you wanted to make it your very own Recipe. special pudding, then there you go. <laughs> special your pudding. Special your pudding. special pudding. <laughs> you know your special pudding. <laughs> Late at night. Okay, I'll stop. What okay. are we doing now? All right, now yeah. we are going to take this lovely mixture okay. and pour and it pour right it. over our oysters. Oysters. Like, oysters like okay. so. Oh, that's Here. glorious. Now, that looks beautiful. Then for our next craft okay. section here. So we're going to do that. Da, 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 da. Then we're going to mm -hmm. put some of our delicious cheese. Cheese. All over the this. The queso. Oh, mm -hmm. that looks mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I'm making Spanish this time. Yeah, queso. Mm -hmm. Get a little queso. Un poquito de... Un poquito queso. Sí, Un queso poquito. para esto. Okay, put a that little there, cheese. like so. In the corners, too. A yeah, little bit of some the corners that you have to get. And then we can put some more of the bread crumb on yeah, yeah. the okay. breads on the top, like so. Wow. That looks beautiful. See? That's it's a lot. Of, that's that's cool. like a... Because that's going to bake down oh. into a big mound of wonderfulness, it isn't is. it? It, it is. It is. So we take like so. So you don't put peanuts or anything on it? No, no peanuts. peanuts this one. We <laughs> could. We could do that. So then you have that there, and then I'm going to take more cheese. Put more a little cheese. bit more this cheese. Is the now, was this bread buttered? It was. Okay. So my question is, you would never use cheese whiz, would you? No. 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 <laughs> that, that would, you only do that after a night of drinking, and, uh, then, you that, the salt, you. and then you get the saltines out, There's and it's all ready. There's always a caveat right. in cooking. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Now okay, we're going to get this in there. And magic of the oven. I'm going to put this into the oven here. Mm -hmm. And, and then, what, what's the degrees and temperature and stuff? Well, I think we have 325 and... Because you have those eggs in there, okay. it's like a pudding. Magical. Okay. And here oh, we there go. There we go. All right, here we're going to clear this Ooh, up because. Here we go. <gasps> Just that very fast. Uh, we Look have at a that. magic oven here. We have a magic oven. 
who actually does this just like this. My friends just saw me clean up. They don't uh -huh, believe it. Uh -huh. And so then all we have John, is... John, that's beautiful. Is a little it bit... It is beautiful. ...of... Mayor, could you grab yes, me a sir? plate there oh, real quick? So there's Darling. something green on top that I don't think we did. What did you... This is a green onion. The green that's onion. That's a green onion. Mm. Green onion. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. I think you put it in, but we didn't put just it on top Just beautiful. Look one. at that. Yeah, we'll put one more out there just in case... You all like Absolutely. to try something, and then I'm going to get this place cleaned up because, you know, you can't have a love fest without dessert. No, absolutely yeah. not. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we're leaving? There you go. No, we're not leaving. I mean, I'm no. leaving. You're not, You're not leaving. leaving. Do you want to leave? Oh, no, I'll stay. Yeah. You want to take a rest? No, I'll be right here. Where's okay. my wine? Thank you. All right. I'll stay right here for and a And we can do a refill <laughs> if you like to. Okay. See okay. how they're trying to make me be a better person? You are oh, right. Person. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do a little bit of, it's kind of like a cream puff. Uh-oh. That's my nickname, you know. <laughs> Is it? Chocolate okay. cream puff. Yeah. Um, actually, it's profiteroles with a warm amaretto chocolate sauce. That's my nickname, too. Is that that, too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, first, we better get this... Um, <laughs> This uh, chocolate sauce going real quick like oh, this. Oh, so it should be somewhere. So let me find where my chocolate sauce is. Chocolate sauce? And right behind okay. that. Okay. okay. I'm going to put this right over here, Mary. Okay. That's okay. So that we have yep. some. There you go. So we can start here. heating it up. And then we're going to hopefully get this thing going here. That looks right. good, even without no, being. This is one of those designer stoves. It's flat, and it's, and it's beautiful. And it's one of the ones that he doesn't know how to use. And it's got one of these, these knobs <laughs> and lights and we things. We have burned pot holders before. We, we, ha we yeah. have burnt, we've okay. burned a number of things it, here. Don't burn be it now awesome. because I'm here. Okay, now I am going to be turning this on, Joyce. I just want I'm you to know. I'm not even getting very close. I just sorry. want you to know that it's going to be dangerous right I'm here you at, if I just, at this point. Yeah. It will be very, very scary. Okay. Yeah. But you All can right. see yeah. it. It's scary. Bye. But you see the red that comes so out? So, Mary, That's helpful. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm going to put you in charge okay. of starting the um, the chocolate sauce. So, okay. already over there, mm -hmm. um, we've heated up some uh, heavy cream and mm -hmm. some milk. And then all you're going to be um, putting into there is the uh, caro syrup. Oh, okay, right. Did you see uh -huh. all of it? Stir it or something? Yep. Oh. You can just pour that into there. That is so thick. Oh, look, uh -huh. everybody. Look at Cairo syrup. You need to ha So they're already in there. Is there's some cream, there's milk. You're putting the Cairo okay. syrup in. And then we should have the sugar. Here? Okay, is that the sugar yep, for that? Sugar? Yes, that's going to be the sugar. The entire. Do I, should I be stirring this or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, let me get to okay. the. Um, uh, a whisk here or Ooh, a spoon. A whisk. Well, I don't think we have. Oh. I have a special whisk a, yes, for I you, like Mary. Your special whisk. I have yes, a special dear. whisk for you. Oh my God! Mary's whisk. It's Mary's whisk. <laughs> See how special it is? It fell apart. That's Thank how special you, John. it is. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> the whole you better not give version. me something that falls apart, yes. John. No, I'm trying not to. Okay. Mm, this smells good. I love making desserts. It's fun. I, mean, I love eating desserts. I like That's eating. Better. So basically what's going to happen, Namir, is we're going to let that come to a boil. Okay. And then we're going to put in the chocolate. <laughs> and I, here's the chocolate. That will be the chocolate okay. for that. And then we'll put the amaretto in. Amaretto? And, and some vanilla extract. Wow. So, but let's let let's that come, come to, to the boil, boil first. Is it on the right... Temperature. Well, I'm not 100% sure. Can you see? <laughs> can you see? It okay. would be would be this one here. It's a Take medium. Take that to high. Oh, to high. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. We're on high now. Okay. How do you not how many know how cooks to can you have in the kitchen to make this love show. fest kind of thing here? <laughs> We're getting used to it, though. We're learning. We are getting yeah. used to it. Yeah, this We're is getting the 57th used to it. Yeah, it show, is though. I don't understand. It is our 57th is our show, show, and we have no problem. I should not no be. Problem. I'll stop. I'm being terrible and mean. No, you're not. No. You're being honest. Well, then I will become <laughs> terrible. No, no, no. It's good. Drink it's delicious. Where's your wine? Drink some more wine. I'm not going to drink <laughs> any more wine for a while. I'm watching John stir. Stir this around and, and what around is that? and around. Right in here, we have um, water. It's a cup of water, uh, a one stick of butter, has a little bit of salt, has a little bit of sugar in it. And over there, I think I have some flour. Yes, you do. Okay. 
you want me to stir while you're pouring flour? Uh, I'm any, good at that. Kind anything of with pure. butter, chocolate, a salt, and vanilla, it sounds wonderful, right? Syrup. And, and you grab. could put that on your face if, if for like an you emollient. Just bury your face in it. Yes, you could do it as an emollient. Well, I'm emol thinking more of about emol you know. <laughs> and we did that actually on the last show. Do you remember? The last that? show they rubbed thinking. they yes. rubbed avocado okay. all over me, <laughs> as, <laughs> as if I had a skin <laughs> problem of some sort. <laughs> They did. We did. We did. I, I, I like it. Like it. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, it's because boil a bit, are we, are we burning something? We're burning, burning a little That's something some, there. No, you're boiling. Should I no. turn this? Okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, turn that off. <laughs> your, your smoke detector still going. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> we have okay. a little smoke going there. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, burned things before. Very it's smoky, okay. in fact. That's okay. So, um, <laughs> what we're going to do here is make a pate choux and a pate, pate choux, choux is kind of uh, a cream puff you know okay a, a batter it's okay, a pate can you, on your can shoe you, can you stir that oh, for me while it. i take care of this Why little issue shoes? i have over here <laughs> with this is a very expensive pot. keep stirring stir keep this stirring is a it's a, <laughs> it is a very These nice cost pot. a lot of money they John. do Yes. I just have a teapot made Here, out of this. Let me come in here. I have to turn Absolutely. a little thing on that Steve's going to hate me for uh -oh. when I do it, but I have to do it right now. Yes, I okay. know. It's a terrible Sorry, Steve. Thing. Sorry, You don't want to hear the hair. You, they, want, they think the only hot air this here is, is me. just like if you were doing this at home. It's okay. Okay. You know, can, can I get the, you want the, me to pour the, you pour the flour and <laughs> I right. stir? I'm going to pour the flour in. You don't in. have sprinklers in this house, do you? Hopefully not. Okay. That would, that, would, that would be great, though. All right. Bye, so what I did day. is I just I stirred legal, all <laughs> of the flour in here. Okay. okay. And what you have to do is you're cooking the flour out, and it, it's going to kind of oh, come in, kind of come together yeah. like in this in this ball thing there. I see. Okay. You got it. Ball thing here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Right. I think we're losing Joyce in the back. Uh, well, we're I losing back. Joyce. It is dangerous right about there. It okay. is. It is just That's getting a yet. little bit dangerous. John, uh, when should I add my vanilla chocolate and... You can put your... Vanilla uh, in You your can put your chocolate, chocolate in oh, chocolate now if you in. like. All of it? Yep. Oh, look at this, everybody. Look at that chocolate. See, I mean... Already yeah, it's Black History Month, this. remember? I'd be nibbling on <laughs> this. Mm. <laughs> and you just keep stirring that I around. I keep stirring. Yes, and I back will. over to the pate choux pot. Do you want me to break choux? some eggs, John? He says okay. no immediately. <laughs> How do you spell pet, pate choux? P A T E. Okay. C H O X. Thank you. I, I'm, I learned phonetics, so it's like I have to visualize it, it up here. Though. Obviously, it's Did a French thing. You see how thing. he broke an egg just by holding it in yes, one hand. Yes, I saw that. So what I'm doing is I'm. You have to do this like kind of one egg at a time. But that smells really good now. And. Okay. So I'll keep stirring it, Choice and then until it starts to come back together. And then, if you like, we can put in another egg, Joyce. Do you need another egg? Well, why not? I'm trying to be helpful here after my last mm -hmm. egg debacle. Oh, look at this, everybody. I, I would turn the pot, but I can't. But it looks beautiful. It's a very pretty it's chocolate very kind of thing. It's very luscious looking. Very luscious. This is going to be delicious. So luscious. So sad so, you can't so have luscious. it. Exactly. <laughs> I guess we'll have to give some to the camera guys. We will. We, we will. Because they're so good. Well, why? They are, they so, are good. so good. <laughs> that guy can't spell. Why are you <laughs> uh, Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right. Okay, should I put my vanilla in now? Sure. Okay. Do you, get, do you really do four? Yeah. yeah. And this is the vanilla I'm putting in. And as you stir it, you know, eventually <laughs> it all goes back together again. Yes. Like so. Mm -hmm. You could do this in kind of a KitchenAid, but often when we do things with KitchenAids here, they make a lot, a make lot, a lot of, lot of noise, noise. So we're doing and then we get in trouble. And we yeah. do get we in trouble. We just get in trouble for but making too much noise. you can also lose a lot of the mixture okay. by trying to scrape it out of those bowls mm. and things. Exactly. This smells really good, John. All right, last day again. All right, chocolate sauce is coming. All right, chocolate sauce is on. There you go. All right, now I should have somewhere around here like a half sheet pan with a piece of parchment paper I on it. I think we have it and here. And then I also have a pastry bag. We have it here. Pastry a bag. A past pastry a bag. Pastry Is that like bag. a Louis Vuitton bag? Ooh or la la. Yes. That cold. That cold. Ooh la la. 
Lord, Cuckoo face. Lord. Stirring that while you put it in a bag? Well, it's a, it's a tough one, this one, to stir around. I'm a tough girl, Johnny. I, I know, know, baby. I know, baby. But look at the muscles you're building. I know. Look at all, all right. the calories we're burning. No, so the now, muscles we did earlier. This is yeah, we ate the mussels and the oysters. <laughs> now we're going into the pate shoes. Okay. All right. So you're doing very well with that. Thank you. And now, Ooh. I think... Do we have the tip for the We the do, bag it's for right the, here. The, good. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna grab oh. a little bit of okay. a the Cizel. Cizer. Come here, Mr. I'm Cizer. Say, what are you all saying? Cizer. Cizer. I'm, like, I'm like, a new ingredient I gotta spell. All right. no, no, and let's get the Cizer. Let me hand me then this you put tip the tip here. Okay. Yes. Oh man. Oh, now what's man. this for? I don't remember. That is your amaretto. Oh, do I put it in there? Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Because otherwise, if you don't, we're not going to have our amaretto sauce. You sound Are very we, satisfying. This looks dangerous to me. It is. Just it a is. little bit. It is. But okay. as soon as we get this here, like the way we like, Joyce. Da, 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 da. I mean, you could do this better than I could do I this because you're actually are the artist. Yeah, and you're I, right. I, oh, I, I am. I so am. That's perfect, oh, though. That so perfect. now, if you hold that. Oh, I will put the pate choux in, and then you can make the poof. The poof. The poof. The poof. poof. I'm going to let you squeeze the poof, because you know me and eggs aren't always the best thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, too. So anyway, you put the um, pate choux into the pastry bag, Yeah. Uh -huh. like so. Beautiful. And then you turn that around a little bit, and then you're going to turn out little oh. Cream puffs. Well, like that's so. really quite nice. See, mine wouldn't that's be like pretty. that at all. Oh, yeah, mine either. Like that. And it looks Could great. we write profanity like this? We could. We could. We could. <gasps> there we go. Will we write if we loosen, If we loosen it up a little bit, we can do that. <laughs> and I'll never be on this show again. <laughs> <laughs> See the memorable. parents in Hartford County like it would be memorable. Just say All right. the right So let me show you. Now what we have here is we take this, we put it into an oven that hopefully isn't smoking, and um, at four hundred degrees, and they will turn into wow. la 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 the magic oven. Whoa! Oh my gosh, they look beautiful. Look at that. Thank I love you. it. I love it. Am I supposed to be turning this off now that I'm boiling crazy? Well, yeah. You're doing great. Okay, I'm doing You're doing great. Awesome. Just make sure. I'm this proud is, of you. Is, awesome. We'll keep that one there. Okay. And then mm. what I'm going to do is get some ice cream out of here. Ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Oh, you we scream. Love ice cream. We all scream for ice cream. Did you make this too, John? Of course you know. I make everything. Oh, I'm so he is. <laughs> Yeah, he might be fibbing a little bit on that one, but yeah. we love ice cream. It's the Taharka <gasps> Brothers. Taharka Brothers. Oh, my gosh. So Taharka Brothers is a company. Right Actually, it's a co-op yes. in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. It started quite a number of years ago. Um, it was in it kind of in an empowerment zone, and it's like grown like crazy. It's just one of the best-known ice creams in the Baltimore okay. area. So we got the Taharka vanilla bean. Let me just grab a little, another knife over black here. Black history moment. Taharka is the name of a black African king who became the king of Egypt. Under his rule, there was a lot less war and a lot of progress. Wow. Your black history moment. Thank you. Thank you. And I bet you there is a lot more love. There's so much love. So much love. Now maybe you yes. could give me a couple little plates here. Okay. And then Joyce and I will do all this ice cream stuff here Some right plates. now. Live. I is. Okay. Tell me what to do and I'll, I'll mess it up, but I'll do it. You'll do it. You'll mm. do it nice. I could cut stuff. so good. Now I'll give you this. And do you want to do the ice cream? Tell me what you want me to do. Okay, we're just, so we're just John is slicing them in half. So you want me to do a scooplet? As yes, it were, and on those this scoops? this ice cream because uh, I brought some from the restaurant. Ooh, might that's be, softer even. It I might think. be a little softer. Do we softer open them up that. and you put like in the middle? So yeah, so okay. essentially, basically, what we're doing is just taking. It's almost like a whoopie pie. It isn't like a whoopie like pie. A whoopie, whoopie Goldberg pie. Could be. She just got in trouble. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> Another black history moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better at cutting. Let yes, me cut. You're cutting great. Yeah. All right.
I'm okay. cutting up is what You're I'm cutting doing. up. Here you go. I'll give you that. Oh, well, not that one. Here, do, do, do the next one. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Thank God you can edit these. Oh, yeah. We edit the entire thing. Thank God. Thank God it's not live. <laughs> I'd be in a lot more trouble boy, than you, I usually Boy, would it. you be in trouble. Oh, oh my God. My how many of these do you want me to cut? Well, it depends how many you want to eat. Oh, well, I'm taking... Do we, <laughs> wait, we have cutting. to give them keep stuff, don't we? We'll, 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 we'll give them some. We'll give them some. You know why we have to give them You know we're going to give them stuff. We know we're going to give them something. One guy can't spell. They look amazing. They really do. Look at these. Look how cute they are. Wouldn't that be a nice little snack? And when you make they them, they're yeah. so puffy that they're, they're open puffy. on the inside, they so they can puffy. receive all the yeah, the you can. stuff. You can see they remind me of a, a type of donut. I can't think what they are. Like little French donuts. Have like a areas. crawler. Yeah, a crawler. Yes. Like a crawler. It's almost they're, like a crawler. Almost. In fact, you do use sort of a pate choux dough Choo to make a okay. crawler donut. Do you? I didn't so, know that. So you, you were very, very right on that. So anyway, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. with our love fest here. Okay, I think we're good here. Let me put top on here like old country. Aww. So anyway, here you go. You have some delicious profiterole. They look like with, little mushrooms with or something. With vanilla bean ice cream. Mm -hmm. And so then Mary, after she made her delicious chocolate sauce, she put some into a squirt bottle. Squirt bottle. And so then we get this thing going. Hopefully we get it going. You got it. <laughs> We're going to go, ooh. Oh. Okay, that looks wonderful. You could be really fancy like a restaurant person would be doing. Ooh. Well, you know, John owns his own place, so he knows I, I've how to heard do of that. stuff. I've heard all right. Let's... Oh my gosh, look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Don't they look like little Disney mushrooms? Oh, they do. Disney mushrooms. Oh, I'll have to take them up to the grandkids this week when I go up. They would love them. Oh, we forgot to put ice cream in one of them. Oh, my oh God. My I'm losing I'm God. losing it. I'm it's losing okay. it. And I, I cut them so well. And you did such a beautiful <laughs> job. Really, 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 really. I was so bad, but okay. Is okay, that there's a lovely top uh -huh. for that one there. Uh -huh. And here we go. Oh, my gosh. They're beautiful. So, John, could you spell my name now? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Here it goes. Joy. Yeah, he's not doing it. He can't. Yay. He can't. I, can't even. I got it. Yay. Yay. And if you wanted to, if you're feeling like really, really want, you can always put a little whipped cream in the oh middle of it. Oh my God. Wow. That's too. if you want do, diabetes immediately. The they would they like would that. that. They, they would, would like that. that. Who would they, like what? My grandkids would love something. Yeah. Of course. Sprinkles, they'd love that. Sprinkles and everything. Sprinkles. Yeah. Can't go wrong with sprinkles. Sprinkles are not so bad. All right, I'm gonna. All right, turn well this now, off. it's a little bit time. We're running. We're running. We ran really late tonight. Did we did we? And be um, nice or no more wine. <laughs> All right. That he just wrote that for me, and he spelled wine W Y N E. The okay. poor guy right there. All right. <laughs> so, anyway. The ultimate, you thought that the oysters were the ultimate aphrodisiac. Well, I did a little research, and it's the wine. It's always it's the wine. It's always the wine. It's always the wine. And it is the red wine. Because oh you have to be drunk to eat half this stuff. And with the red wine, you always get the larger wine glass, right? Is yes, that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. You want it to breathe. You want it to breathe. Yeah, that, that is true. Breathing is yes. important. Yes. Love. And so we, we have a lovely... Wine from Black Angle, Angle. Oh. which is in Mount Airy, Maryland, <laughs> makes some of the best wine in the entire region, yep. and we love it. We do. So here, let's let's do a little bit yep. of pour. I'm here. not saying anything about Black Angle. I, I'm going to be better than Did I did. Did you say earlier. anything about you that? You can say here you go. Here, so you, you, like you, you, you just <laughs> you just hold on to that. You just hold on to that. Yeah. And yeah. remember, all these things you can get locally at your own wineries, your yes. farmer's market, all across the state of Maryland. All this is available. And, you know, we're really lucky to live here and to love and, and to have to friends. Love. It's a that love, the it's a love fest. fest. It's a Lo love, love fest. fest from us to you. To you. So I want to remind you mm -hmm. that we do this Chesapeake Farm and Bay to Table quite a number of times and we have yes, more we excitement coming up in season two mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. um, also, when Mary was talking about local wines, local cheeses, all the things that we got local, yeah. local oysters, um, you can go to marylandsbest.net. Uh -huh. It's a great resource for everything that comes from Maryland, both uh, in the field or in the bay, uh, all around the thing. So it's, it, again, it's a great resource, and, and we thank our folks at the Maryland Department of Agriculture for yes. doing all of that for us. And also, I just wanted to thank our whole crew, especially for for our uh, director of operations who yeah, spelled everything yeah. for Joyce <laughs> this evening, and um, and and for the, our crew um, at Harford County Public Library, everybody mm -hmm. who makes that happen, uh, the crew from Gertrude's, from our common table, um, Josie Ann Pennington, our executive director, mm -hmm. V, who is our mm -hmm. prep cook, and um, and. Steve Vilnet and his whole crew, yeah. uh, their production crew. So we're really lucky. I mean, it just seems like this is so easy, right? To have a couple profiteroles, it's wonderful. some ice cream in them. But it really takes an entire yes. community to make one of these evenings yeah. happen. And that's usually some, one of the things that happens in all of our kitchens. It's when our friends come together. Mm -hmm. It's when our families come together. And we get there and we're, we're, we're all there. That's where the love begins. Yes. It begins in the kitchen. And so, our family and friends in Harford who are on the other side of the tech crew, Leslie Greenlee-Smith, exactly. Adam, uh, Ryan, and Joyce, and Beth, they're all there watching us. And, you know, it really is a love fest. And you keep Leslie locked oh, in we, that room I do all keep the time. Leslie locked in this yes. room. So. Be because we um, basically <laughs> need to uh, have somebody who can coordinate our question and answer yes. session. So once again, thank you all very much for joining us. May Thanks I for being part thing? of it. Yes, yeah, Joyce. I, I am thanking very much you two for having me on and allowing me to cook with you. And for the parents and librarians, I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> she just might be. She might just be. She might have gotten herself a full-time spot. Those people who are writing us <laughs> We're just... right now, emails right now, don't worry. We're gonna... I'm not going to be asked back. Oh. This, this is your chair. You're there all the time. Oh. So, cheers to everyone. Cheers. So anyway, we, we did a whole lot in this uh, episode. It went pretty quickly. Um, and you may have a lot, of, a lot of questions about this. So we do. we're here. You have the experts right here live. Right. So, uh, so let us know. Let us have it. All right, let's find our questions. I'm sitting down. For sit that. down. Sit down for the questions. All right, let's have Because I'm not going to get any questions except why are you here? Who asked you? All right. You've embarrassed the entire people. <laughs> <laughs> Black History Month is now terrible. It's a whole thing. I'm going to get trouble. Well, the first question is, so how did you cook the salmon? That was one question, but somebody followed up with it. Susan, who said, so Barb made the salmon, but... Do you have any tips on how to make it like in a big old cooker roaster if you wanted to cook it? Oh, absolutely. Um, so the salmon that we had from Neopol is a smoked uh, salmon. Mm -hmm. And she uses this process, this Euro Northern European process mm -hmm. to, to smoke it. And it's as you taste it, it's really moist inside. Often some smoked salmons, like a hot smoked salmon, mm -hmm. can get a little dry, which is fine. But um, I, I particularly love this Neopole because it is so moist and so flavorful. Okay. Now, that's just for, for buying smoked salmon. You can make your own salmon in a roaster. And generally, if I was going to do that, I have a pan with a rack and I put the filet of salmon on top of that. So you can just roast it like that. You can butter it. You could glaze it and then uh, put it in an oven at about 375. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes. Um, you also, if any of you have uh, your own little smokery or um, grills that you like to smoke with wood chips, that's always a fun thing to do with a side of salmon. And if you're gonna get the salmon, I would, I would suggest, at most of the um, fishmongers, you can get some beautiful uh, organic salmon. Uh, it comes from Scotland, comes from Ireland, and uh, it's really, really flavorful. It's very good, and it's not much more expensive than than the Brand X. Do you ever good season tea. overnight? The the salmon? The salmon. Yeah, and then put it in the Frigidaire overnight, yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Can the bread pudding be made in advance because it requires such a long bake time? Absolutely. You can make this bread pudding well in advance. A couple different things that you could do with it is, you know, when we put it all together and we put the milk on top of it and then the bread, you could just wrap it up and put it exactly. into the refrigerator mm -hmm. and just let it, it, you could let it sit overnight. And in fact, it may even be nicer because it gives um, the bread, the breadcrumbs more time to absorb the okay. milk and you'll have a bit of a more cohesive pudding uh, when you bake it. And also after you've baked it, let it sit for probably 20, 30 minutes so that everything can kind of s settle down and congeal. Okay. That is what my mom used to do. She used mm -hmm. to let the bread soak in the milk or whatever elixir she had, liquor she uh -huh. had, because she not only wanted the bread to be softer, but to really be pungent and to absorb all the flavors of whatever it was sitting in. And it gives it a must much nicer texture yes. that way too. Yes. It's much smoother and creamier. All right. Yeah. Uh, once again, where did we purchase the salmon? We, I got that at Neapol Smokery. Okay. And that's in um, Belvedere Square here in Baltimore. Yes. But mm -hmm. they also have one in Union Union Square or Union Station. Okay. In um, Washington D.C. Oh. And they also are in many many farmers markets. Exactly. I, Barbara is at the 32nd Waverly Market almost every Saturday. Okay. And she's been there for at least 20, 20 some years now. All right. Yeah. And what kind of wine goes well with the smoked We have a lot of salmon questions. What kind of wine goes well with smoked salmon? Well, you know, I mean, we're doing the red wine tonight, mm -hmm. but I would not go in that direction. Um, okay. As Joyce would know, we, we go much more for, I, I like a drier white wine okay. to go with the salmon myself. Joyce, what do you like? I like a, maybe a Sauvignon Blanc yeah. or a California Chardonnay. Okay. They're not always so dry, but they allow the kind of fruity sweetness of the wine to okay. to deal with the saltiness and the brininess and all of those flavors that you put into what, a yeah, and, salmon. And, and salmon often is, 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 kind of, answer. is kind of fatty and mm -hmm. buttery. And it's so, very uh, It is. So that, 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 those wines would go very well with that. Okay. Red can be very, very hearty for fish. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have two more questions, uh -huh. and they're sort of related. Okay. Oh, John, you're going to love this one. Have you ever opened an oyster and found a bee? And would you demonstrate opening an oyster? I would if I could. If I had time, I could do that. But I don't have my knife with uh, me. I don't, gotcha. I don't have my it knife It is that with special me. knife yes. when I yes. see them do that. But have you ever found anything in an oyster? Oh, You've God. opened it. Yes, I have uh, also. What did you okay. find? I found an actual pearl. Did you? Wow. Yeah, they make little, they're not oysters that are seeded that you get mm -hmm. the ones that you can now drill and make into jewelry. Yeah. But they make their own aggregates, their own little pearls, and they're actually quite nice to have. Yeah, you can find okay. that. And sometimes I find little tiny crabs Ooh. in Yes, you do. In in the oyster when you open it. Okay. Yeah, little, little, little crabs. They're still alive and crawling yeah. and you if you're like me, it's like ugh. Yeah, it's it scares <laughs> customers. Like if we okay. send one out or it's buried oh, under no. under the oyster and they said you can hear a scream out there. Oh my god. But it's just a crab. Okay. We yeah, love but that. it's alive it's and it's not sauteed yeah, 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 or nothing. Yeah, it's alive. It's moving. Okay. Well, on that happy note, I think we are finished. Yeah. We will see everyone March 16th March is our 16th, next show, yes. which is going to be amazing. We have uh, internationally acclaimed our Librarian of Congress, Carla, Dr. Carla Hayden, will be with She's us. She's a very day. nice lady. She's not as good as me, <laughs> but she is a oh, fabulous I'm tell person. Her I'm tell, tell her. her she'll her. yell at me. She'll I yell. Tell her that. She's so okay. wonderful. <laughs> And once again, I, Joyce, I really thank you so much for coming and hanging well, out with you, us tonight. Thank you, John. This is my I love first you. time in his house, and it's so nice in here. And, and I, here we are. It's so very nice. And it's my first time meeting you. Yes, yeah. And I get my own apron, get your own which apron. I'm going to sell on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so if, you have, if you have John sign it, yeah, oh, John. it becomes really valuable then. Okay. Okay. You heard that. You heard it right here. <laughs> so anyway, we love you all. Happy Love Fest. Have a wonderful February. Get out there and celebrate with your whatever. Whatever loved one, grab them, celebrate. Galapal, 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 Palatine, all of you. Love you. Bye. Bye.